is one of the best Star Wars books of all time getting a sequel. At Emerald City Comic Con, Claudia Gray, the author of Lost Stars, was asked if we could ever see a follow-up to her book, and she responded, uh, I firmly believe it's gonna happen someday. I, we just have to see what lines up with their publishing schedules, but like, I hear good things from them. You know, I, I think, I think it's gonna happen. Now, this is far from confirmation that a Lost Stars sequel will happen, but Lost Stars is a widely celebrated book, and I personally think now is a great time to continue its story. If you haven't read it, Lost Stars goes through the story of the original trilogy, but from the point of view of two soldiers on either side of the fight, Sienna Ree and Thane Kyrell. They grew up together on the same planet, they went to the Imperial Academy together, they fell in love, but then one joins the Rebellion while the other remains loyal to the Empire. So the Foundation is a very compelling, star-crossed lovers-style story, but it also takes takes us from before A New Hope all the way to after Return of the Jedi, and we get to see the entire galactic civil war from people who are removed from the Skywalkers and all their drama. An example scene I love to point out is the Imperial character's point of view during the asteroid chase of The Empire Strikes Back, wondering what is so special about this freighter that they're sacrificing the lives of their pilots to capture it. We, the audience, know the answer because we're privy to Darth Vader's story, but seeing the normal Imperials wondering what the hell is going on is an interesting new perspective. Plenty of fans fell in love with Lost Stars and have been clamoring for a sequel ever since. I've personally been kind of ambivalent, but now that the sequel trilogy is over, I'm changing my tune because I would welcome a new perspective on episodes 7, 8, and 9. We're seeing stories like Shadow of the Sith come along to enhance those films, and I'm ready for it. I know some people will whine about Disney trying to fix the sequel trilogy with books, but I'm like, yeah, welcome to Star Wars. I wouldn't call it fixing anything, but The Clone Wars absolutely enhances the prequel trilogy and provides new context and additional perspective that make the universe more fun. Same with the novel Darth Plagueis. The books and comics have always done that. Just because it's a book about the sequel trilogy doesn't make it some special case. So yeah, I think now is a great time to revisit Sienna Ree and Thane Kyrell. Let's pick up where their stories left off at the Battle of Jakku. Let's see if they work things out, and they had better, I am rooting for those crazy kids. We can see their perspective of the New Republic, the fall of the Empire, the rise of the First Order, and I would be very interested to see how they choose to join the fight if they do at all. And yes, I think I would benefit from seeing their point of view of the sequel trilogy. I would like to get that more boots-on-the-ground look at The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and The Rise of Skywalker. Love it or hate it, the sequel trilogy was rushed, and there are elements I think could use the old James Lucino-style Darth Plagueis touch. Now that we've had some time and distance from those movies, we can start to smooth some things out. Adam Christopher already did a great job starting that with Shadow of the Sith. Claudia Gray is one one of my favorite Star Wars authors because of Lost Stars, and I would love to see her step back into the sequel era again because Bloodline is also great. She's currently busy writing The High Republic, which I'm also loving, so I think any sequel to Lost Stars is still a ways off. The High Republic might end in 2023, or probably more like 2024, so maybe we'll revisit Lost Stars 2 after that. But I think it's a great idea. So what do you think? Should there be a Lost Stars 2? What would you want to see in it? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.